Hi friends, this is part 2 of Anglo 6 application user registration form um, here. Um, in this tutorial, we will learn how to customize this front end and how to create a user registration form in Anglo 6 application. Before that, first I want to change the background color of this application. For that, in index.html file, in body tag, I am adding style attribute. See here, uh, selector will be app root. Okay, a uh, root component of Anglo 6 application is app component, and uh, corresponding HTML will be app component.html. Instead of this default code, I need a um, div with class container. Hit tab. Inside this, will show this sign up component. So copy this sign up component selector here and the pasting here hit tab let me say all the modification and go back to the browser here we have the background color and uh, here we have this sign of works text um, instead of this uh, we have to show user registration form let's look how we can do that yeah we have global style sheet. I am adding some predefined styles to this application. Save this file and sign up component.html. Here we will create your user registration form. Before that, in sign up component, we have to create property which is of the type user model. In Anglo 6, you can see when we are using models or services, it automatically imports required statements for that user model class. Okay. In signupcomponent.html file, here we will create a form for user registration. So remove this. Instead of um, we need a class due with class row, hit tab. Inside this, we need a due with class call s8 it's like um, call md8 in bootstrap to add offset of two columns from left and right we add this class offset and then s2 hit tab inside this div i want to add code from the front end framework see here Cards HTML it says um, it, it's have a header and a content um, inside this content we will display our user registration form let's look how we can design the code here here we need do with class code it tab Inside that, we want to show a header for form title. So, do sm jumbotron. This is a custom class which we have defined in our style sheet. Do sm dot sm jumbotron. Okay. We need another class from boot materializes center align hit tab. Inside this div, I need a header tag h2. Header text will be user registration. Save the changes and uh, go back to the browser here. Here we have the title for this uh, user registration form. Below that, um, we need a form for user registration for that below the header tag we need a do with class sorry before that we need a form with a call s12 it then we need a color white it tab we don't need this action attribute inside this form tag 
um, I want to design this form similar to this one here text inputs like this I want to design the user registration form in our application okay for that I need a div with class row hit tab inside this um see it's like a single line we want to split the row into two columns so we need a div with call class um, input field then call s6 hit tab like this uh, we need one more div so copy this one and the pasting below that in this first div we want to show a username input field for that input hit tab yeah we want to give a name so name attribute it will be username for form we have to give local reference user registration form it's of the type ng form okay here local reference as username it's of the type ng model then we need two way data binding within a square bracket within bracket ng model well here we are assigning this variable user inside that we have to assign this property so user dot username we need label for this username for that add we don't need this for attribute here here label text will be username like this we can add text box for password so i just copying and pasting here and changing the username by replacing with the password label text will be password like this um, we can add a label text label text box for rest of the properties from this user model email first name last name like that after this um, we need submit button here we have the type submit and the button text also submit okay to work with form element we have to import forms module inside this app module file here import from at angular forms inside this forms module and I make this part of this import array save all the files and go back to the browser Here we have created user registration form in Anglo 6 application with a materialized CSS. In our next video, we will discuss how to add a reset function for this application and the validations, username, password, and mandatory field, and email validations, etc. Okay, thank you for watching this one and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.